Okay, there once lived a pirate, and like all pirates, he also died at some point. He was walking along the street, and he started coughing, and then he didn't stop coughing, and then he just, and he keeled over, and he died. And he kind of ascended, as, as most pirates do, they ascend the stairs to the upper world heaven, and he makes it to the pearly gates, and... This time, God is there sitting at the pearly gates with his ledger looking at it, and he looks at all the things the pirate's done. He says, hello, pirate. And the pirate says, Harbikar, hello, God. God says, you didn't do a lot of bad in your life. You also didn't do a lot of good in your life, but I can see that you did a lot of useful things in your life. And the pirate says, Harbikar, me, me quite the useful man. And God says, all right. You're in. He unlocks the pearly gates. The pirate kind of strolls on in like this. And when he gets in, he starts living his life in heaven. And after a little while, he's gotten closer to God. God eventually invites him into his office. And he says, you know, pirate, I do this job all day. I watch the world. I see what's happening. I watch people interact. I receive their prayers. And it gets a little lonely in the office all by myself. Do you want to hang out with me some? And the pirate said, Arr, I love to hang out. I love to help God. So this became their new routine. Every day, God would do his thing, and the pirate would sit there, and God would point out this, and God would point out that. And one day, the pirate noticed that there was this little square in a park where these two statues were facing each other across across this like kind of pathway from each other and one statue would look at the other with its hand out as if to say my beloved i want to be with you and the other statue would also be on the other side as if to say holding on its hand my beloved i'd love to be with you and the pirate thought whenever if ever i get the chance i'm going to make things right between these two and bring them together once and for all and as it happened his chance came sooner than he thought it would. God had come to trust the pirate, and he said one day, look, I'm going to go out of town for a couple of hours. I'll be back. Would you just watch things for a little while? And the pirate said, Arbigar, I won't let you down, God. And so God leaves. The pirate's there. And as soon as the door closes to the office, the pirate goes down, and right to where the statues are and he sprinkles a little dust on the top of each of the statues heads and both of them come together all of a sudden they come alive and they're kind of like oh my god my body's moving and and then they look across and they see their beloved and they move toward them and the pirate says god will be back soon about 20 minutes you have 20 minutes to consummate your love and they said 20 minutes all right, well, we've waited an eternity. It's not a lot of time, but it's some time. So that's enough time. And so they go into this bush over, over to the side. And the pirate's kind of sitting there smiling as the bush goes back and forth. And you can hear kind of these little sounds that the statues are making. And it's amazing. And it goes on and on. And the pirate looks at his watch. And he's like, okay, 18 minutes, 19 minutes. Okay, and he says... Arbigar, you must come out now. It's got to end now. I've got to get back. God will be here soon. So the rustling in the bushes stops, comes to an end. And the two statues walk out side by side. They look, they have big smiles on their face. They both look so happy. And they're kind of looking at each other, knowing that they're going to go back and be statues again. They're looking at each other lovingly and adoringly. And one of the statues says to the other, That was amazing. I was, I've waited centuries to do that. Another says, me too, me too. Just, if we get to do it again, one request. And the statue, the first statue says, yes, anything, my love. What is it? The second statue is, next time I hold down the pigeon and you take the shit. <laughs>